welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. I've been a little bit busy here. Uh, here locally, I've done a little bit of work. I uh, changed this a little bit. I put a fence gate in here so that uh, in the event that I have to get up here without a jetpack, I don't have to try to hop the fence or have to dig dirt blocks and bridge my way around and stuff like that. And then I went underneath here and I built this little thing coming out here and I filled in that under the one side of the farm area so that I could get some water going in there. Eventually I'm probably going to go ahead and fill in the entire, you know, an entire second layer of dirt down under here and I may build it down even more but for now at least I can have this and the soil now stays hydrated even with uh, when it's not raining. And right here, this square here, well I can just fly over here and show you. This is the result of the first quarry. Nice little bit of lava down there. And I bucketed up quite a bit of it and uh, got the turtle fueled up pretty good. I made like seven buckets and I sat there feeding the thing with fuel for a while. And so it's got enough fuel now to dig three or four more of these. I'm going to go ahead and restart this. It had to stop and get restarted uh, because uh, oh, I ended up having bad lag and crashed out. And, I had to set the thing back here to restart, so I'm just going to start it over again. And let that go. And yeah, I know I'm wasting a little bit of fuel having it retrace the, uh, these fuel levels, but I don't care. It's not that big a deal. Meanwhile, I have some things I want to get doing up here gotta get started on this factory. So let's see we've got powered furnaces. Let me take one of those for right now. A pulverizer. A couple of these energy conduits and of course my redstone energy cell which I made the long trip through the nether tunnel back to spawn and then, then sat there kind of twiddling my thumbs and looking around whilst the energy cell recharged to its full 600,000 uh, Minecraft Joules. My Crescent Hammer. And I'm going to set this up out here temporarily. I'm going to pop the energy cell here. Let's see, this one is the Pulverizer. We'll drop a furnace right next to it. I could have sworn I had... Okay. I know I've got more. I didn't get them all. There we go. Yeah, I know. I could have just moved the doggone thing. All right. Turn that to an output. And... Let's bring this up to 10 MJ a tick, and I'm going to go back here and get out the hopper. And I'm going to pop it on top of here. And come to think of it, oh, wrong place. Actually, what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to cook some of this cobble into smooth stone. Well, I'll just fill this up directly. There we go. Is some of this stuff cooked up? I think I need to go get a chest for it to spit out into. Ah, oh, I have one. Good. I'm going to make up some cobble from smooth stone.
oh, these machines don't share power. Well, I'll set it up differently then. There we go. Clack that. Powered furnace is coming on and charging up. Alrighty, good. All right, now while that cooks off the smooth stone, which I'm going to make into smooth, I'm going to use as smooth stone and stone brick down here on that first square that's already been cut out. I'm going to start construction on the first bits of the factory. This is eventually going to be a 20 by 20, and I know I could have had the turtle excavate that fought that big, but uh, that would have taken more time than I could have remained online, and at the moment, I am not able to build a chunk loader of any kind, and so I have to be here in order for this thing to actually be running. So, while that's digging out the second 10 by 10, this is going to be making up smooth stone. I'll make a fair amount of that into stone brick. And then I'm going to get started on building a factory down there. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, it has occurred to me that my situation here involves an awful lot of risk for falling. And as much as I loathe the idea of spending four diamonds, I think it's going to be a good idea to make long fall boots. To be helpful, I'm going to open the right chest. Okay, I believe I have that correct. Six iron, one obsidian, two diamonds each. Okie doke. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's right. Okay, never mind. Long fall boots. Better than this butter armor that I took off a dead zombie. And yes, I had at some point earlier before this trip started making diamond armor and some diamond tools and such. And I'll get it finished and uh, in use at a later date. But uh, for right now, it's going to wait. This is the armor that I intend to be using when I go down to the nether and see about coming up with a tier 5 wither skeleton spawner. You know, that's going to require killing a lot, as in 1,024 wither skeletons. And for that, I want good armor, heavily enchanted, good weapons enchanted with good stuff, and a hefty supply of fire resistance, instant heal, and speed potions. In the meantime, <laughs> they're going to have to wait a little bit. I am not ready to put all that together just right away. So I'm going to get this stuff cooking up. And there's something else I want to be doing very soon. As in, as soon as I can come up with reason, with sufficient reliable power for it, I need to pump the oil out of that spout there and get myself a good tank load of oil and then I need to start refining that into fuel which can be used to provide more power because I'm going to be needing enormous amounts of power going forward. As a matter of fact, Hmm.
Let's take break this off of here. And I'm just going to set it down here so I don't have to move anything else. Well, maybe that was a bad position choice. All right, that's good. That's good. Start pulverizing cobblestone. I'm going to get another chest for that to output into. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make another hopper. Let's see. Oh, come on, chest. All right. Need a couple of chests. I believe I need a stone gear. And then I need some iron. One chest. Okay, there's another hopper. All right, good. Drop a chest over here. Pop her up there. Load this one up. And this one will be manufacturing sand. All right. That's good. And the reason to manufacture sand? Well, to supply, to initially supply the industrial craft power needs. And there's no going to be a lot of it. I'm going to be using solar panels. I'm starting out with the first tier panels. Now, the recipe for these is close to what it used to be in the vanilla IC2 before Greg Tech modified things. You've got uh, electronic circuits, generator, carbon plate, the glass panes. The, name, the modification is silicon plate. To get silicon plate, I need two to get one silicon plate, two silicon cells in the industrial blast furnace. To get the silicon cells in the industrial centrifuge, two empty cells and 16 sand get one silicon cell. And so what I'm going to be doing there is I'm going to make enough sand that when processed as described, it will produce enough silicon cells, or specifically in the end, enough silicon plates to make a full stack of these solar panels, which will then be producing 64 EU per tick between all of them. You know, 64 1 EU per tick increments, which will be enough to keep the MFE charged for a while, and maybe even start. Maybe even get towards building an MFSU. I don't know just yet. But uh, there'll be enough of a decent initial energy charge. And then later on, I will upgrade them. Because the first tier is an ingredient in the advanced solar panel. Once I have the ability to make, let's see, three stacks of irradiant glass panes, which is going to mean a whole bunch of refined uranium and so on. And I know this seems like it's kind of a really roundabout thing. It's a lot of uh, do this to do that, to do this, to do this other, to get what you want to do. But I sincerely believe that what I want to manufacture, if I can produce it in sufficient quantity, it will be wanted by many. And so, why not? How's the energy cell doing? Okie doke. Uh, I'm going to turn that down. And I'll watch this if these two... Let's see. Yeah, I believe the cobblestone recipe. Yeah. Cobble to smooth in the powered furnace is 160 MJ per operation. And cobble to sand is 320. Okay. 
Oh. Let's configure the top as an input. Okay, it looks to me like this thing putting out 5 MJ per tick is enough to keep both of these machines going. And that's good because it's a long run back to spawn to recharge it. I really will be very glad when I'm able to recharge it myself here without going all the way back to spawn for that. All right, I'm going to be working on this, and I'll check in after a bit with an update. Okay, I've uh, decided on a little change of what I'm doing out there. Right now, it's being output into a chest, and a chest is not going to hold as much as I want that thing to manufacture in terms of sand. So, I've got the red alloy, the alloy furnace going here from Red Power. It's right now making up blue alloy, or blue doped wafers. And I've already made up some brass ingots. And let's take these brass ingots with some glass and make up a little bit of pneumatic tube. That will be enough for now. And I've already made up barrel. And so, let's see, we've got a fair amount of sand in there already. And I'm just going to take the pipe and run it from here over to there. Actually, break that. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want it connecting to the hopper. Right, let's put the barrel down here, and we'll connect the pipe here, and now we'll change this blue input side to a red output, and we'll disable that output. Go ahead and grab all of this dirt, this uh, sand. Perfect. See, what I need to make is 64 stacks of sand. Now, why is that not connecting when it was before? Oh, fudge. That's not connecting either. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see, perhaps I just need to go ahead and make a filter. All right, let's look that up. Hello, here we are. Red doped wafer, gold piston, cobble, okay, good. My blue doped wafers are done. Let's get some red doped wafers going. Get a little bit more blaze rods. I've discovered that the alloy furnace will accept blaze rods for fuel. This is good because that's the one fuel source I have the most of. And that's good. All right. Okay, we've got red, red doped wafers cooking up. Let's get this recipe in gear. Grab some gold. Today, okay. Some cobble. Uh, I need a bit of iron. That'll be enough. Well, let's grab a little bit more than that. All right, let's start out with a piston. Where's my dusts? All right. Okay, gold, red dope wafer, and cobble.
one filter. All right. And let's see. I believe I have a screwdriver. All right. Now, pop that down like so. Oh, yes. It needs to be pulsed. All right. That's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That means I'm going to need a timer. That'd be the easiest way to do that. Stone wafers. Okay, cook up smooth stone. Well, I have some smooth stone out here. I've taken the powered furnace down. I'm not going to mess with it right now. I'm just going to blaze rod, blaze rod my way through. I hate it when I hit that recipe button. All right, that's going. going to need at least nine of those wafers. Three stone wires, two stone anodes, stone cathode, pointer, and two wafers. All right, let's just start putting that together. Wait, I'm going to need some stone wires. That's just a stone with redstone on it. All right. And stone wafer, the stone anode, three stones with redstone. Oh, make you know, the recipe makes three of them. Good. And otherwise, a stone cathode, which is a stone wafer and a redstone torch. I'll be glad when the turtle brings up more redstone. I'm running short on the stuff. Stone cathode, I need just one of them, and then the stone pointer, okay. One cathode, give me another piece of stone please. There's my pointer, all right, cathode, pointer, anode, Pointer in the middle, cathode here, anodes here. And stone wafer up here, bingo, bango, bongo, I have a timer. And I'm going to uh, get into making plans to operate this thing. Hello. Do I have the filter turned the wrong direction?
Hmm. That's the right direction because that's the output hole right there. Let's make it a three second interval. We don't need to have it that fast. It doesn't take. Okay. All right, filter is allowed to move sand, not gravel. Hello. All right, a bit of time has passed here, and I had an unfortunate crash incident, and that caused a certain amount of footage to be lost, so I can recap. Basically, I figured out that for some reason, I don't know why, but the thermal expansion machines have no problem accepting input from red power pipes or machines. They seem to have a problem outputting to them, and I don't know why. If anyone does, I would certainly appreciate a clue, uh, especially if that includes a way to fix that and get them to cooperate. Because I'm you know, I can't cite an example right now, but I'm absolutely certain that I've seen Direwolf 20 in his uh, single player and on his SMP series doing just exactly that, interfacing red power machines and pipes to thermal extension machines without a problem. Anyway, I decided to just go ahead and make up some gold pipe, gold buildcraft pipe, and run the output of sand into this thing. And then I changed the in, the interface so that the yellow output, which is where the gravel comes from, will go into that chest. The redstone energy cell is a little over halfway down now. And it has thus far produced just now 13, uh, just now 12, just over 12 stacks of sand so far. And... In order to produce the 64 solar panels that I need, I'm going to need 128 silicon plates. And to get the silicon for that, I'm going to have to process 64 stacks of sand. So we're about roughly one-fifth of the way there in terms of how much sand is needed. And since that redstone energy cell is going down the rate it is, I think it's time to see about an alternate power source. Right now.